Welcome to the series of how this render was made. Today we are going to analyze this project of an interior space made by Martin Darzak, a French interior designer. He has told us everything he used to make this image. So stay until the end of the video because we will discover the techniques, resources, settings and materials that were used to achieve these results made by a professional. For inspiration he created a mood board with the references that inspired him to create the design of the bar. The idea was to create a mysterious and elegant atmosphere using dark materials and contrasting it with some bright details. In this way, he opted for a neo-art style with a design inspired by the bar of a hotel in Miami designed by Joseph Dierand. Before starting with the project, Let's take a look at its basic configuration. First, check the units to avoid scaling problems when importing geometry. Second, create layers to be able to organize all the geometry in order to have a smooth navigation in the graphic window. And finally, in the Vray frame buffer, have the highlights at 10 and allude to adjust the contrast. This way, in the test renderings, they already come out with the correct light. He used a loot from 3 Doctor Collective, exactly the one we see on screen. For the floor, he used two simple frames with a chamfer modifier. With Rail Clone, he oriented the tiles, created material variations and was able to randomize the mapping. He used the segment translation and rotation settings to achieve the herringbone style floor pattern. For the ceiling, he scattered the elements we see in red within a rectangular spline. With Rail Clone, he created a regular pattern with the ceiling panels, which were equipped with lighting, the V-Ray lights were added separately. He used the fixed size display of the segments to test various dimensions without having to edit the original geometry. For the bar, using the Ray Clone plugin, it was easy to adjust the size of the bar, test various shapes and materials with a few clicks. Once he was satisfied with the front of the bar, he added the inner bar and the faucet separately. For the bottles, he also used Drail Clone to disperse them and create random empty spaces using empty segments and variations using the random operator. The bottles were distributed along a basic slot using the generator's general offset configuration to place them on the shelves. The bottles are by Threedski, who modified them by adding depth to the glass, liquids inside, and then changed the materials to add a bit of realism. As for the carpet, after modeling the hair, he used Forest Pack to spread some triangles, making it more realistic. After collapsing the geometry, he scattered these three hairs on a simple carpet surface. This may not be the most efficient way to do it, but I wanted to experiment with this method and see if I could create more controlled patterns, sizes, and color variations for future projects. Finally, he added a simple cylinder to exclude areas of the table, preventing the hairs from jumping across the table's feet. He used black and white maps from the 3DD Collective to create movement in the carpet hairs. He modeled himself elements such as the glassware, which he tried to create at a glance a beautiful set from House of Perrin, a luxury brand based in Los Angeles. The napkins he created from a blueprint that he folded several times with a fabric modifier. He used a second fabric modifier to place the flatware on it. He made some candle lights, and for the cocktails, he used the glassware he finished making and some polygon fruit. The idea for the lighting was to get an overall dark blue atmosphere similar to the moon and then illuminate the details with warmer lights, trying not to illuminate the space too much. The main light comes from the two suspended fixtures, which illuminate through V-ray spheres to illuminate the scene and the light strips of the fixture with an emissive material for aesthetic effect. The secondary light is a V-ray dome light with a blue color to simulate moonlight. The decorative lights are a combination of V-ray disc lights to simulate the ceiling spots and a V-ray emissive material for the wall lights, candles, and arc strips. He also used a V-ray plane light inside the back bar created PBR materials in the scene. The maps he uses the most are polygon textures and dirt maps from 3D A Collective. He uses more and more metalness instead of specular, since it allows to show metallic textures in the graphic window instead of black color. 
For post-production, he exported an EXR file already with the loot applied. For this, be sure to check save to image in the Vray frame buffer loot settings. Then in Photoshop, made some slight adjustments. We leave you with the final images, but first if you found the video interesting give like and subscribe to analyze more projects.